listening to PetLifeRadio.com. Animal Party is brought to you by Dog.com. For everything and anything dog, shop Dog.com today for all the top brands. Greenies, Frontline, Kong, Nylabone, Royal Canin, and more. Shop at Dog.com and use the promo code SADPARTY, S-A-D-P-A-R-T-Y, and get $15 off your order of $75 or more. Hello! Welcome to Animal Party on Pet Life Radio. Well, if you're here, you got your invitation. You're on the exclusive guest list, the VIP only list. Welcome to the party. Today is a holiday party, which means eggnog for the humans and healthy dog and cat treats for the dogs and cats. It means our Christmas tree here in the studio is a tinsel free tree and it's anchored. So when our cats jump all over it, they won't knock it over. Or when the dog innocently goes to retrieve the ball that the grandkids threw for him, the ball that landed under the tree, the dog won't accidentally send the tree flying. He's a good dog, but he's a good fetcher too. So you don't want to put him in that situation. So as you can tell, I'm leading into some safety tips for you all, and I'm going to go through that today, safety tips for the holidays. Plus, we have a guest on. It's Stacey Mantle from Pets Weekly Magazine. And she'll be telling us what is hot for pets right now, what you could buy the pet owner on your list. If there's someone you know that's really hard to get a gift for, but they adore their dog or their cat, then that's the best way to go. You won't offend them that way. Now, if there's someone on your list that has a lot of dogs, like your veterinarian or your person who dog walks for you or the person who takes care of your cat when you're on holiday, that person does not need a calendar that is your dog. Even though the veterinarian or the dog walker loves your specific dog, she probably gets 18 calendars every Christmas. So in each one, Dalmatians, Shih Tzus, each one is the breed that the person who's sending it thinks this person loves the most. So um, steer clear of that, I would suggest. Although the calendars make great gifts for other people. Anybody you know with a pet, I mean, they need a calendar. Most of us need more than one, and they love their dog. So we're going to go through some of the best the best stuff. And I have something never before heard of, some plaques that are really cool. And you can buy them already mounted, like fancy and like a serious gift, or you can get it so that you mount it yourself and insert your, and, and uh, after you get it, which is a little, a little um, less costly, but still you can make it as beautiful as you want. And the way they've got this organized is you can send them, you can email them the picture of your own dog to be inserted on this plaque. So I'll tell you what that's about, how you could send someone a plaque for their house that's really quite funny and exactly right for their dog. So we'll talk about that and we'll talk about Stacey Mantle's picks. She's got a lot. I have one from Planet Dog that 100% of what you spend goes to helping service dogs. So training dogs to help people in need. So I want to talk about that a little later too. But before we get to all that, here are my safety tips for this week. you got to be careful with the tree. Please don't fill it with chemicals if you have babies, toddlers, cats, or dogs. The chemical stuff, oh, I know it smells good, and it means you don't have to change the water under the tree as much. I know that. But... It's toxic. It's terribly, terribly dangerous. And it tastes good and it smells good and it looks good. And all of them will want to try it. So just steer clear of that completely. Use sugar water and change it a lot. The first week, change it a ton. Change it way more than you're used to if you're used to chemicals because you'll need to. But use sugar water. Don't endanger any of your pets with the stuff you put under the Christmas tree. The other thing is all those toxic chemicals you're giving that tree to keep it alive artificially so that you won't have to change the water as often, that's going through the tree, but then it's going out into the air. So you probably don't want to be breathing that anyway. So go with the sugar water for the tree. And then don't decorate it with anything that's food. No popcorn strings, no candy canes. I know, a bah humbug. But I'm just trying to keep you all safe. If you decorate with things that are food, you're drawing your pets to the tree. And then you're going to have problems. So (laughs) you might choose to decorate a tree outside like that, all covered in popcorn, and then watch the birds peck away at it. It'll be great viewing over the holidays. But I wouldn't do it inside. Inside, keep your tree 
completely not tempting. No chocolate underneath it. No nuts underneath it. No candies. Anybody gives you something like that, it goes in a locked chest or a cupboard somewhere high up that the pets can't get to. On Christmas morning when everyone's around, then you can take out all the food gifts. But you don't want your pets in the room with the tree with that temptation because something will happen. Now, I've heard it said that if you put pine cones all around the base of the tree, that cats won't climb up the tree. And that will work for you if you have older cats. So you can try that. Anything that cats don't like to walk on, anything prickly, will keep cats off of things. But if you've got cats like mine, I have seven indoor cats, a couple extra cats who've just sort of shown up here. If I have seven inside, two plus two, I guess that makes nine, <laughs> my cat math. But this, of the seven, there are three who are very young, and they're great jumpers. And putting the pine cones on the bottom would only make it a more tempting obstacle. They would jump halfway up the tree. So for me, my tree this year, you know, and, and I recommend this for everybody, it's not going to have glass crystal ornaments on it. It's not going to have things animals could ingest like tinsel, fly, you know, flying things, trailing things. It's going to have the old-fashioned wood ornaments. It's going to have things that are really not breakable and not dangerous to the pets. And I'm going to keep up on it. I'm going to be sweeping all around it and making sure the little bits and pieces that inevitably come off the older ornaments don't end up in anybody's stomach. So that's really important over the holidays. And good idea and good tags on your dogs and cats is important because a lot of animals escape this time of year. So be really mindful of that. If you're having lots of guests over, put the cat in another room. Put the dog in another room if he's an escape guy. You know, make sure. Another thing that is really important, the number one reason that people end up in Emerge with their animals on Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, New Year's Day, number one for cats and dogs is stomach problems. Now, normally with the cats, it's because they've eaten something they shouldn't have, like tinsel. Tinsel and cats just don't mix. But normally with the dogs, it's because they got a binge treat. All year long, they're on the hypoallergenic, all-natural, organic dog food or whatever their owner chooses to feed them that's strictly controlled. And then once a year, boom, they say, oh, it's Christmas. Here, buddy. And they take the roasting pan and they put it on the floor and the dog laps up a quarter cup or a cup or two cups of gravy. That dog's going to be sick. It might even die. So you can't do that to your dog. If you really want to give him a taste of the turkey, well, after everybody's finished eating, in his own bowl, with his own kibble, you can put a teaspoon of gravy on that. Yeah, he'll love it. And he won't be sick to his stomach the next day. So a little bit is okay. A lot is dangerous. So really be careful with that with dogs and cats. Now, cats, it's kind of interesting. They don't have a problem with cholesterol. They don't. You can have them on a completely meat diet, and they will be just fine. Dogs aren't that way. Dogs do need grains and veggies and other things in their diet. But both cats and dogs can handle meats as treats and gravy as treats. But really, really, really in moderation, everybody. So keep a jar in your fridge and let them have a spoon once in a while. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't give them the whole jar at once, though. You're just going to cause yourself some problems. So today we're going to be talking with Stacey Mantle. And she's going to tell us what's hot on the Christmas list. And I'm going to tell you. The Poodle House Rules, and some of the other funny house rules. I'll just give you a little taste. I am the keeper of this house. Please don't enter except on the express invitation of my master. I hate violence. This is the Poodle House Rules. As resident protector and alarm system, I have supreme and final authority at all times. Three, I am in the top ten of the most popular breeds, so show me some respect. Four, Despite what you have heard, I am a finely tuned athlete and need my regular daily workout. No couch potatoes here. Five, when it comes to intelligence, most dogs drool, whereas poodles rule. Do you need help with your homework? Tax return? Just ask. Number six, I get bored easily, and that's not a good thing. So what are we going to do today? Number seven, labradoodle, golden doodle, schnoodle, cockapoo. You see a pattern here? We are awesome. Number eight, historically, I am a hunting, retrieving dog, but these days, I'm just as happy in the show ring or hanging out with my friends. Number nine, I am a very good judge of character, so if I'm not acting all warm and fuzzy toward you, I'm sure you know why. Number ten, my family means everything to me. Don't cross them, any of them. 
Okay, now I think that's great. So there are these plaques, and you can have your own poodle's face put on top and have it all framed and delivered to you for Christmas or delivered to your poodle lover. And they got a bunch of other breeds. So we'll be talking about that, and we'll be talking about the dog toy where 100% of it goes to pet rescue, 100%. You rarely get that. Usually when they say, you know, proceeds of this will go to charity. It's like $1 or 1%. This is 100%. So we're going to talk about that. And we're going to have Stacey Mantle on to uh, shock and amaze us with the latest, greatest stuff for this year. Stay tuned, everybody. Come back to the party. Don't go anywhere, because the best is yet to come. Stick around. There's a movement afoot, ShoeBuy.com. Join the millions of people who shop ShoeBuy.com's over 400 brands and 500,000 products. Order now and get free shipping and free return shipping. ShoeBuy.com, the world's greatest shoe store. Walk your dog in style and comfort. Enter the code ANIMAL, A-N-I-M-A-L, at checkout and get a 10% discount plus free shipping at ShoeBuy.com. Love your pets but wish their medications were a lot less expensive? They are at 1-800-PET-MEDS. You'll not only save on flea and heartworm medications, but on prescriptions for arthritis, incontinence, thyroid, and more. And you get fast service, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Plus, our licensed pharmacists ensure accuracy, monitor drug interaction, and more. See why over 5 million people have trusted their pet's health to 1-800-PET-MEDS, America's largest pet pharmacy. Call now or order online. Go to PetMeds.com forward slash party, P-A-R-T-Y, to get 10% off any order and free shipping on orders of $39 or more. Celebrate your special occasion and give her this classic semi-eternity band created with one carat brilliant diamonds channel set in 14 carat white gold. Exclusively yours from ice.com. Free shipping over $150, free returns and 30 day money back guarantee. Go to ice.com and use promo code ACTFP and get 20% off your purchase. Or use promo code ADTFP and get 20% off at diamond.com. Ice.com or diamond.com. Get 20% off from Pet Life Radio. Coast to coast and around the world, it's All Behave with Arden Moore. Find out why cats and dogs do the things they do and get the latest buzz from wagging tongues and tails in Rin Tin Tinseltown. From famous pet experts and best-selling authors to television and movie stars, you'll get great tail-wagging pet tips and have a fur-flying fun time. All Behave with America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. Every week on demand, this is the place for a special paparazzi treat. Only on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Stacey Mantle from Pets Weekly Magazine. She's a full-time writer and founder of PetsWeekly.com, your source for all things pet. Welcome to the show, Stacey. Great to be here, Deborah. Thanks for having me. I was telling them about some plaques I just found out about, and they can go to petplaque at gmail.com if they want to order one. And they are so funny. They're house rules for different breeds of dogs. And the one that you know I read was the the poodle, because of course I have five red standard poodles, who four of which are looking for homes, and they were born September 5th, and so I'm thinking poodles right now because I have puppies for sale. But I'm looking at their list. They've got Chihuahua, Yorkshire Terrier, Dash and Jack, Russell, Pug, Beagle, Cocker Spaniel, Boxer, Doberman, and the list goes on and on and on. So if you've got a dog or a dog lover on your list and you thought those things were funny, because they were. A chihuahua house rule. What's mine is mine. What's yours is also mine. I'm not trembling. I'm doing isometrics. So they're really funny, and you can get them at petplaque at gmail.com. All right, Stacey, so I know you go through the best of what we can get for our pets. Can you give us your picks for this year? Oh, boy, the ultimate pick? Oh, that's going to be a hard one. 
You know, we really like the laser toys and we really like the doggy baggage. So those are two of our top ten, I guess, or top two of the of the year. And uh, Doggy Baggage is at doggybaggage.com. It's D-O-G-G-Y. And the laser toys are at, you can go to um, the Dart laser toy. Just It'll probably be easier to Google it, Dart or the Bolt laser toy. And those are both put out by the people that do the Scoop Free Litter Box. So can you tell me about that laser toy? Is it the kind of thing where you point it and the cat chases the light? Okay, the Frolic Cat Bolt toy is an interactive laser toy. It's totally self-encapsulated, and it runs on a timer. So you can actually set it up for your cat and leave the house, and it will actually run through a pattern or a series of patterns for 15 minutes before it closes itself down. So it's a really great toy for, uh, for dogs or cats. The dart is really designed for the dogs, and it, only because they have different patterns and different ways of, of uh, moving through the, the, laser, the laser part itself. So it, it's a great tool to have if you're leaving the house and your cats get anxious or your dogs get anxious and you just need something to keep them distracted for a little bit. Um, and if they like lasers, we totally recommend the Bolt and the and the uh, Dart by Frolic Cat. One thing I noticed in your list of doggy gifts, Christmas picks, was the Thunder shirt. I want to know about that because I saw some research a while back from a university study on dogs that seemed to show if dogs were swaddled and wrapped so they were in constant contact, dogs who are afraid of thunderstorms, they were more relaxed. And I'm wondering if this is something to do with that. The thunder shirt is amazing, and I really had my doubts when we first tried it out, but we have just had so much luck with it. We put it on our dog whenever we're traveling, uh, whenever we have to leave the house because he does get anxious now that we don't have Tristan with us anymore. And uh, it just calms him right down. It is true that when you, it works on the T-touch aspect of oh, I see. you calm okay. your animal. Because so T-touch you know, works. It's course. how you touch your animal to promote confidence or, or in a dominant dog to put him in his place. And there's all these gentle ways of touching certain parts of the body that are like the way other dogs would touch them. If a dog is dominant and tough, the other dogs all greet him by going underneath his chin and muzzle and kind of high-fiving him that way with their nose-to-nose touching. If a dog is wimpy. He's going to come in low like that and underneath. And so when you've got your dog and he's feeling insecure, you want to be touching his chest and his chin and underneath, making him feel big. Now, if you have a dog who's super, super tough and big and too much dog, you want to be touching him over the top of his head and getting him used to that and really watching that other people don't get nipped by him when they do it because he's going to have issues about anything above his head because he's the tallest, biggest, toughest guy around. So the T-Touch really, really works in so many ways. So if this is designed to hit him in the exact contact points he needs for T-Touch, that totally makes sense to me. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing product and it's really been developed well. The people that created it have just done an amazing job. And like you said, it, it's, it works on the same principles as another animal handling it or being around it and how they would comfort the animal and that type of thing. But you don't have to be there to do it. So it works out really well. Make sure you get the right sizing on it. They have a really um, detailed way of sizing the shirt, and you can pull it up on their website. It's just thundershirt.com, and learn more about how it works. They have some great videos. And they claim it works on 80% of all dogs, and I totally believe that. I, I think that, that any animal that, that needs it is going to respond well to it. Okay, well, we have to go to a break. When we come back... I'm going to tell you if it's in-laws or pet. Okay, there's a survey out there, and more than half the people responded. Now, are they going to spend more on their in-laws or more on their pet this Christmas? (laughs) Stay tuned for our sponsors and come back to the party. And we're going to talk about some other things. I'm going to read you the Doberman Pinscher house rules. All right, everybody, come back to the party. Leave this party before it's over because the best is yet to come. Only losers leave the party early anyway. Party on. Back in a few. At Petco, we really love pets. There isn't anything we won't do to make sure they're getting the best products and the best care. So when you ask us a question like, So how do you feel about cat condos? We can say from experience, Feels like home for her. Enter the code PARTY10, P-A-R-T-Y, the number 10, and get 10% off any order. No minimum at Petco.com. 
FTD's network of over 40,000 florists around the world have been creating beautiful handcrafted arrangements for 100 years. Each arrangement is delivered the same day and backed by FTD's seven-day satisfaction guarantee. For a century, people have trusted their most important occasions to the flower experts at FTD. Since Pet Life Radio is all about puppy dogs and flowers, our listeners, that's you, can get a 20% discount on your order. Just go to florop.com and use the code LUCKYS20 at checkout. F-L-E-U-R-O-P.com. Code word L-U-C-K-Y-S and the number 20. the question, what do I want? What do I need? I'll take a back shot. I reach a mention. I need time. I need love. I crave attention. Love My Pets, the new single by Mark Winter, available in iTunes. This year, Americans are expected to spend a jaw-dropping $36 billion on their pets. From lighted leashes to high-end spa products, the discriminating pet owner can find just about anything to pamper his or her pet. Hi, this is Michelle Fern. Join me every week for Best Bets for Pets, where we'll talk about the latest pet products and talk to the companies that make them. Best bets for pets. Every week, only on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On PetLife Radio. PetLife Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. You're, you're, you're inside the VIP room. With the hottest party in town. Back to the party. Let's go. Hello. Welcome back to the animal party. All right. Doberman Pinscher house rules. Are you ready for this, Stacy? I am. Okay. Number one, I am the keeper of this house. Please don't enter except on the express invitation of my master. Number two, as resident protector, enforcer, and alarm system, I have supreme and final authority at all times. Number three, no impertinent behavior will be tolerated by anyone. Number four, you can't tell me what to do. Only my master can do that. Number five, aggressive? No, I like to call it enthusiasm. (laughs) Number six, I like to win. Second place is the first loser. Number seven, I'm probably the most loyal and protective breed in the world, so it would be a good idea to get on my good side. Offering a treat or small chew toy will get you so far. I will tolerate I will tolerate small children as long as they understand two things. A, I am smarter than they are. B, my tail is not a handle. <laughs> Number nine, I will tolerate most adults as long as they understand one thing. I am smarter than them, too. Number 10, silly human, you can learn from my strength, intelligence, fearlessness, and overall demeanor. Maybe over time you can achieve some of these traits as well. Unlikely, but possible. So that's the Doberman Pinscher house rules, and each one is really suited to the breed. So I hope people will go online and check that out at petplaque at gmail.com. They can email their picture and have their own or their gift, you know, the person they're giving to, that pet's picture put right in there. So I just love these. I think they're really funny. I'm going to end up reading them over shows in future. So what have you got for us? What other Christmas Uh, picks? What about the cats on your list? The cats on our list, we've got quite a few. We've got my favorites this year are the Smarty Cat Toys. They are put out by Worldwide, who is a very environmentally responsible group. Everything that they do is recycled or made from recycled materials, or they have some form of how they've managed their their product making and how they handle the distribution and so forth. And they're inexpensive, which we love. So mm-hmm. the Smarty Cat Toys, and that's cat with a K, is definitely something you need to check out. Okay. I've got a pick, too. These are glow-for-good balls. 
It's the only thing they've got this year where 100% is going to service dog training. So it only costs $10, dollars nine ninety five. And 100% of that is going to help animals. So I really, really hope people are going to go to planetdog.com and check this out. But the ball itself, I've tested, okay, on my many dogs. And I've had the small, medium, large, and extra large size. I thought the extra large would be perfect for my big, big Roddy. It was too much for him. He's older now. So everybody wanted the size that's just a bit above the tennis ball. Everybody, even the medium dog. So I was kind of surprised that that was the most popular size, just so you know, for sizing. But this one is nine ninety five, and it is that size that I'm talking about. And it's glow in the dark, and it tastes like mint. <laughs> and, and, um, and all the money goes to help train animals to help people. Those are the end of my picks, Stacey, because I knew I was having you on the show. And you're from Pets Weekly Magazine where all things pet, especially this time of year, you know what's hot for pets. So I'm letting you lead the way here. So what else are you suggesting? Well, another favorite for cats we've got is the amazing treat machine rollers. And these are basically cardboard with catnip. And they're, they're easy to create. Um, you can pick them up at amazingtreatmachine.com. And they end up coming, I think it's two or three in a package. So it's a very good value. And you can kind of put them together. You can have the kids decorate them. And you just put them on the floor and the, the cats roll them around. Usually the dogs get involved and have their say in it. Uh, we've had a lot of fun with these, though. I like the idea of giving something that keeps the animals busy because a lot of times over Christmas, and this is something we should also say, is even though it's Christmas and your kids are home from school and their regular routines are a little relaxed, they should still be walking the dog. They should still be grooming the cat. They should still be changing the litter. Chores have to be done and the animals have to be taken care of or they're going to get mischievous. But usually our presents tend to be foods that make the animal a little <laughs> wired. And so if, if the present is something that will get the kid to go outside and throw the ball or uh, get them to play with the cat and decorate something for the cat and interact with the cat, I'm all for it. Because I think pets get ignored a little bit this time of year. They tend to. There's a lot of excitement, of course. And there's a lot of things that you've got to kind of keep an eye out for and, and really spend some extra attention on them. So you know that the answer to that poll was 56% of people who responded said they're going to spend more on their family pet than they are on their in-laws. Whoa. I don't even see that as surprising. <laughs> I don't see that that's actually a low estimate. <laughs> Yeah, those are the ones who admit to it. Yeah, We've got exactly. some other great stats here. Like, um, this surprised me. 58% of pets will unwrap their own gifts. Oh, no. All right. Usually um, before you give it to them. <laughs> that's true, yeah. 49% of people will sing holiday songs to their pets. Okay, I do that. But I don't know if I'm singing to them or I'm just singing and they happen to be there. I mean, you know, I do sing sometimes to my pets, though. Do you? I do, yeah, because they're the only ones that will listen to me. I try, I try not to saddle anybody else with that. Well, sometimes what I used to do when I was a dog walker, I'd have a van full of dogs, and we'd be going to a park or a beach or something, and they'd kind of be too much reacting to each other or paying too much attention to what was going on on the roads, and I just wanted them to just be calm and relaxed and think about what, where we were going. And so I'd take a simple song and just change the words, say all their names in the song, you know, like even a happy birthday song, or, or it might be a song about going to the park or going on a walk or something like that. And I would just insert their names and say lots of words they know, like walk and beach, and, and they'd just calm right down and we'd sing all the way to the park. So I think music can help in a lot of ways. 63% of people make special holiday treats for their pets. I don't do that. Do you do that, Stacey? I, you know what? I didn't until this year. Well, that's not true. I do sometimes, but this year I definitely did. And <laughs> we have a way, actually, it was on our list, to make that a lot easier for, for owners to do. Uh, we found Maggie's Dog Munchies, and you can just order the mix, and all you have to do is add water or... In the case of, like, the apple treats, you add applesauce, and it's all wholesome, natural ingredients that are good for your pets. So that's a really Kids love to do to this. Kind of, exactly, and you just kind of mix it all together, and it takes about three minutes to mix it all up, have it and bake it, and the kids can be involved and roll out the dough, and, and it comes with a little cookie cutter, so it's really a neat way to kind of get word out or to kind of uh, treat your pet this holiday season. Now, I don't have any New Year's resolutions for my pets, but it says here that 19% of people do. It's not their own. They're not trying to clean up their own act, get fit, get thin. No, no. They want their pet to get skinny, I bet. I bet it's a lot about being fat. I wonder. 
Do you have any I, New you know, Year's I, I can't even keep my own resolutions, so I'm not going to make any for my pets, that's for sure. Well, 19% of people do. I wonder if they're all about weight loss, and I bet those same people are buying treats and cookies for Christmas and making the homemade recipes and getting their pets Probably. even fatter. <laughs> okay, so agility equipment. How can we get agility equipment? Is this stuff big? Is it expensive to ship? Like, what, what's this about? I see that on your list, agility equipment and toys. I've got Stacey Mantle from Pets Weekly Magazine, and she's sharing with me her pet's Christmas wish list is basically what it is. If she had dogs and cats, what they would want. The product she's been reviewing, she gets sent a lot of products to test, and when she really loves something, she writes a little report about it and posts it on the website. And some of her favorites are the ones she's telling us about today. So PetsWeekly.com is where to go to find more statistics like the ones you've heard me giving. Those were courtesy of the PetsWeekly.com site. And they have quotes about dogs and cats and jokes and all kinds of things, more than just dogs and cats. They're things that are kid-friendly. You could easily look there for some funny one-liner to begin lesson you're doing with children. You know, that kind of thing. I mean, but they're clever. It's good trivia. So... It's very worth going to PetsWeekly.com because you get these product reviews, but you also get all kinds of information about dogs and cats and other pets, too. All right, Stacey, so what is this about, this dog agility equipment? Is it going to be huge? Do I need a four-wheel drive vehicle to collect it at some depot? Uh, agility, is our, agility equipment, is it can be really bulky and it can be difficult to get around. Uh, the thing I like about Agilite is it makes it a lot easier to, first of all, to ship everything to you. It's less expensive and it's a lighter weight product, which is really nice. It's made from recycled materials, which is great. And if you go into their site, which is AgiliteDogs.com, you can just kind of look at the pictures there, which it's located, it's got to be somewhere in the Northwest, but I just like looking at the pictures. So You're sort of in love with the Pacific Northwest, and you live in Arizona, and every once in a while I try and talk you into going and reporting on the Iditarod for me in my stead. Cause I, I would Lord love knows, to have I've the had opportunity enough. to do that. That would be so great. I can great. probably fact, set I you up with that, them. you know. Did you? Really? Oh, okay, okay. Did you contact? You okay, well, them? we'll talk about this off air because I can probably set you up. <laughs> They've been trying to get me to go there and, and report on it and take part and do media events on the Iditarod for years now. And I just, I live in Canada. I dream of Florida and Arizona and Hawaii. Why doesn't anybody send me to cover an event in Hawaii? I've never been there. I'd love to go, really. <laughs> Anyone listening, Hawaii, Las Vegas, if you've got sun and hot weather, I will come. I will do your event. I will be happy to do it. But, <laughs> but this, Alaska, has more of what I got already. I don't think so. One place in Canada last week, they went to bed. It was snowing. They had a few inches. They woke up. There was five feet. Okay, nothing in your life could ever, it doesn't matter if you've got a shovel or a backup plan for school or wait, you are in trouble. That's just not okay. I'm only five feet. I'm five feet too. That's like above my eyes. I mean, it's not good. I got to get somewhere warm. You got to get somewhere cold. <laughs> I do. My husband never tolerated it though. <laughs> uh, yeah, mine either. He doesn't like it. And, and you know, it always sounds great when you're not in the middle of it. You know, I think that's why I'm missing it so much is I just haven't seen it for a while. I think probably a couple of days over there and I'd have my, it would pass. That that need to get into the snow would definitely pass. So, Well, you go to use the hose and first you have to hope that someone else put it inside so it wouldn't be frozen. And if not, you have to thaw it out and work on that. And every little thing, you know, is a little bit different in the cold. And you forget about that when you're in the sun and it's 120 degrees out. Well, and, and vice versa. Like when I think about these people who do pet rescue, they go into these emergency situations of flood or hurricane or fire and they have to set up these mash units for pets and, you know, get them tend to their wounds if they've got any, but also try and find out who they are and where they're from and try and find their owners and all this stuff's going on. And uh, they have to deal with this. Like people from Florida might be sent to Canada and people from Canada might be sent to Mexico and they got to just deal with, you know, the fact that you'll dehydrate if you don't cover your head. Well, we don't really worry about that too much in Canada, <laughs> you know, or um, you probably don't realize that water buckets for dogs will freeze. Oh, that's not good. They can't drink that. Well, you probably don't know that. We know that. <laughs> you know, <Yeah>. stuff. <laughs> There's a lot to think about. And actually, people listening, if you've got snow around, then you probably have salt. And salt is pretty nasty. It's better than other things. But if you're choosing to use salt yourself, you can mix it with sand. 
go half salt, half sand. It'll work better anyway. Way better on your shoes, your tires, your cars. Way better on your pets. The other thing you want to do is if you're in a neighborhood where every time you come in, your leather boots are covered with salt, that means your pets are exposed to that. And they only have two choices. It either gets ingested through their paws and their pads and their skin right into their bloodstream, or they lick it. And it gets probably an even more direct through their digestive system and more direct route. So you don't want that happening. So just rinse them off or wipe them off at the very least every single time you come in from salted areas and kind of pay attention to it. And then you probably won't get that cracked skin and the bleeding and the problems sometimes people get when it's so snowy and salty. See, it's a totally different thing. Well, Stacy, tell us some more. Have we got a couple more picks for the people out there? They can go to PetsWeekly.com and see your whole list and see all kinds of things you recommend. And these are things you've tried. They work. So let's hear some more. Let's talk about the uh, traveling because a lot of people are going to be traveling this year. And so we, you know, if you, whether you're going across, the, across town to visit a grandmother or if you're going across country to do it, there's a lot of people that are going to be on the road with their pets. Kurgo has some great products out, and that's one of our favorites. We use the zip line and the harness that all animals should use in their car. Um, you want to make sure your pets are traveling safely. So Kurgo is a great uh, site to go check out and make sure that you have all the pieces that you need to make sure that your pet is secured and safe in the vehicle. Uh, you want to make sure you bring everything along. So, again, we'll go back to the, the doggy baggage. We love their little totes and travel bags and it's just a multifunctional pet travel bag that we can use to store all of our pet stuff in one place we can just grab it and go who is the heated pet bed for the heated pet bed is that for arthritic dogs old dogs that kind of thing you know what the the heated pet beds are well our cats love them i mean we we have a hard time oh, really i bet they do stay on them yeah we have a dog with a hip that well he doesn't have a hip it's been removed the ball of the hip has been removed so his works really well with he'll use it because he's often you know dealing with the pain of having no hip so he will jump on the heated pet bed and he will use it our other dogs would not use it before uh the cats love them so i'm telling you if you have a problem with a cat climbing on the radiator or climbing over the heater vent Get them one of these cat beds, and it's a lot safer, it's easier to use, and it's far more effective. Your does it plug in? It, it does, it? yes, but yeah? it has okay. a two-proof cord on it. You don't have to worry too much about that. Um, you know, it's always good to make sure you know your audience. That's what I always say. Know your audience. Yeah. If you have a little puppy that's going to chew everything up and you know they're going to get through a cord, please do not use a huge pet bed. Cats tend to leave it alone because they're just completely relaxed and absolutely c- content on these beds. So they're not going to Oh, I'm sure. Try to I'm sure it would up. work for them. I have a lavender bag that I heat up in the microwave and I I wear it myself around my neck if my neck is sore and if I put it down there's a cat on it within 15 minutes. Absolutely. Really, every time and as soon as I'm exactly, coming in. This is actually this plugs in it, it maintains a specific temperature throughout the day. So you don't have to worry about it getting too hot or too cold or you know, are there being any danger? I mean, heated blankets can tend to be a little more dangerous, so you just really kind of want to stay with with what your pet's going to enjoy and what you're going to get the most use out of. And we really recommend the heated pet beds. Pet Safe has okay. a great I, product line. I want to ask you about one more thing: the pleat sheet. Okay, now it says makes room for more pets on the bed. If my husband saw this, he would be like, "You're not getting that." There's no way I want more pets on the bed. Why would I want more pets on the bed? But okay. what is it? Is it like pockets for cats? Is that what the deal is? I bet it is. It's little pockets no, for the cats. No, it literally splits the sheet down the middle and adds almost another sheet. I mean, it's, it buttons up so you can have it one regular size sheet. And I'm not explaining this right. You almost have to go to the website to see it. But it has a pleat down the middle. And when you open up the buttons, it will expand out into a larger sheet. So you have more sheet between you and your partner and your dogs and your cats and whoever happens to be sleeping on the bed, which is great for people that have that sleep with bed hogs, like my husband's the notorious tuck and roll, so I always end up with no sheet and too many cats. So I love having the extra room and the availability. So you can either, you can either use it or not use it, which is great because it just buttons up. It's a super easy button, and you just, undo it and you've got an entire at least another half a sheet available to you we have a king size bed and it strikes me as an indulgence you know it's it strikes me as like 
you know, buying someone on a diet chocolate, like giving someone like me this sheep. Is it really good for me to have more pets on my bed? Isn't there a number that means <laughs> you, isn't when the bed yeah. space is full? Isn't that time to stop? But I guess, you know, if my husband was away for a month, I might think about it. I wonder, I could do a contest. How many pets can I get on the bed? <laughs> Yeah, I think I'd probably win that one. <laughs> I'd love to see yeah, I've woken up with a cat on my head before, you know, just totally covering my head. So I figured There's that one of my cats who loves to sit on my shoulders. And he's he did this as a kitten. It was so cute. He would sit on one shoulder and then walk around the back to the other shoulder. He was just a tiny kitten. Well, now he's huge and fat. And I think that's why my neck's always sore because I think we have to come up with a new trick. He's too big for his trick. And I've heard of other problems like a boa constrictor that got too big for the dancer and ended up in a rescue place. Oh, no. I guess it's time to teach him a new trick. Let me see. What else have we got here? Is there anything you want to cover that we didn't? You know, we can talk about the wags and tags. This is sort of a luxury gift, per se. The charm that you can actually buy it has your pet's ID and so forth on it, but it's literally made of diamonds, silver, gold. You can order different kinds, and it's, it's an expensive luxury for the pampered pet. But this is bling. Yeah, this you, is bling, but this get, is also, when you have someone on your list who doesn't have kids and has never had kids, year after year after year, they're kind of getting ripped off. They end up, you know, your favorite auntie who never had kids is always getting every child in the family $50 gifts over and over and over. And every year you give her a little tiny $2 catnip toy for a cat, which is nice that you thought of her cat and all that. But that's the kind of person that you could give this to. Someone who doesn't have kids right now. Maybe their kids are all grown or they haven't had them yet or they don't have them. And they, they have that feeling about their animals that they would spend for a quality item. They want, you know, they want to be able to shop like this. So something like that, it almost allows them to indulge. I think it's great. So tell me some more. It is. And, and owners can also pick up their own matching charm, which is really neat. It has a person pendant or you can get the dog tag or cat tag and... It's, it's some really fun stuff. So ch- check out wagsandtags.com for that. Oh, I could see uh-huh. this being an amazing Christmas present. See, I just said it was for people without kids, but now I'm thinking if you've got a teenage girl who adores her little pet, you get the both of them this thing, this matching. Oh, they just love it. The way they collect these tiny little figurines that are fake pets, you know, fake fuzzy pets that just match and have colors or outfits or fake fuzzy pets that talk. I mean, this is way better. Your real pet becomes something that you're connected to with a charm like that. I think that's great. It's really neat. And people really love them. Dogs love them. It's, it's just a really fun way to celebrate the holidays. That's kind of an interesting thing. When people give attention to a dog for something, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be something bad. It could be something good. It could be a new haircut. It could be a new outfit. It doesn't matter. But when people give it good attention for that thing, it will end up liking that thing. As long as the thing doesn't impede its movement or isn't too hot or uncomfortable in any way, it'll like it. So if you give it a really special tag that everybody notices and everybody comments, and if that tag happens to have his name on it and everybody reads it, now you've got something he likes a lot. So, <laughs> so he can pick up on this. He knows value. So what else are you going to say? Uh, you know, we got the pet tree houses, and it's literally PetTreeHouses.com, and these are the luxury tree houses for pet owners. And I'm telling you, you want one of these in your home. They are absolutely gorgeous. Um, they're expensive. They're totally worth it. You you just need to see them to believe them. And it's called, as I said, PetTreeHouses.com. If you're on a little bit more of a budget and you're looking for something that will go indoor outdoor for pet furniture, cat furniture in particular. Check out felinefurniture.com. They've got a new outdoor line of cat furniture that we love, and we've been talking about this all year. It's made of lodgepole pine, which, of course, holds up well in any kind of weather, and we have two sets out in our yard. We love them. They've held up amazingly well, and they're just these are both great products. So felinefurniture.com and pettreehouses.com. Pettreehouse. Uh, you know, when we've got Pettreehouse listed here, why does it say... For birds, cats, and dogs. What are you talking about? They literally, they custom design every single home for each individual animal. So if you have like three or four cats and you want something, one likes to climb, one likes to sleep, they will actually design that around them. Uh, or you can just buy one that's in stock and that, that meets your cat's needs. They're great for birds and reptiles because they can, again, customize everything. 
or you can buy one in stock and they either have the house enclosed in the bottom for like turtles, you know, what's how's it like to hide. At the same time, a bird or, you know, a parrot or any of your larger birds can be flying around on the top and being fine and out of reach and happy and healthy up on the upper branches. So they just have some amazing things that they do. The dogs, if you have a smaller dog, they'll create the dog house underneath for you. We have one like that. And our cat also loves it because she gets to hide from the dog, which is always a bonus. We have bigger dogs. so. A and- very long time ago, I was pet sitting a West a uh, Highland Terrier, little Westy, and he, he was tiny, tiny, just, he'd just been, you know, he wasn't house training well, and the people who were elderly had basically given up, so he was a young, young little puppy, just tiny, and he actually ran right up a cat scratch, chased my cats up there, and was standing halfway up, wondering how to get down, not knowing exactly what he'd got himself into, it was really funny, but uh, I, luckily, you know, I was right there, I just picked him up, but I think the cats were amused, he was sort of mouse-like, and not not bigger than them, smaller than them. <laughs> I think they thought it was sort of funny. That's funny. Yeah, it's a great way to, to go about the holidays. Today, I had a golden retriever moment, and I realized today it was deja vu because I had the same moment a few years back when my dog, who's now seven, Sophie, who's a mama dog, she's actually pregnant right now, when she was under a year and I first got her, one of the first times she got really, really affectionate with me when I was cuddling her, she reached down and licked my ear so gently I hardly noticed. And then I realized she'd completely taken the earring out of my ear. This is a golden retriever thing because today my dog Sophie, who's now about a year old, who's a golden retriever, I was cuddling her just like I do every day and she did it again. She took my earring right out of my ear. And I know it reflects two things about Goldens. First, well, three things actually. First, that they're so loving that they want to take care of you and groom you and be meticulous about it. And second, that they have a tongue that can do this kind of highly skilled and ever so gentle work. I mean, if I asked my husband to take my earring out of my ear, I would be in trouble. Like, <laughs> these are not easy earrings to get out at all. They've got keepers and they're, you know, and anyhow. Okay, so the third, the third thing it tells me about her is that uh, she considers the earring bad, uh, a foreign property that has like a splinter. She thinks she's helping me until I say no and teach her that they're supposed to be there and then she'll leave them alone. But most dogs wouldn't notice earrings, wouldn't bother, wouldn't care to help you out with the splinter they think is in your ear and certainly wouldn't be able to handle it without you even noticing without you barely touching. So I think it's an interesting statement on the golden retriever. I did go get cotton batten and alcohol and clean it all up and put the earring back in. So don't worry. For those of you listening who are germaphobes, I do know how to wash my hands. <laughs> I kiss dogs, but then I clean up. Okay, so Stacy, what else have you got for us? We're going to have to end the party very soon. Have you got anything well, else they should get? Let's talk briefly about Earth Heart, and this is it's an aromatherapy for dogs. So if you have dogs that are easily upset or any you know any of those things, especially during the holidays, animals get a little more excited than normal. Canine Calm is a great product to just calm them down. It works on aromatherapy properties, and you just spray it okay. on a couch, spray it on their bed, and they're they're set. Okay, now this isn't the same as NutriVet, right? Or uh, Feel Away, the, the pheromone no. liquid. It, the, okay, so that's something where if cats are fighting or hostile or scared or freaked out, you get this stuff and it's a little liquid globe and you plug it into your outlet and it releases a smell you barely notice. You do notice it though, but barely. And the cats get calmer and calmer and calmer and start to love each other and there's less trouble in the house. But that's actually a synthetic copy of cat pheromones, cat natural cat vibe or whatever you want to call it, the the smell and liquid and scent they put out when they're happy. But this is not that. What is this then? Is it just like things dogs like, like peppermint or... What? Yeah, it's it's literally a some sort of a blend of I think it's twenty essential oils. So it starts with they have tangerine and lavender and germanium and ling ling and marjoram. They have all kinds of things in this product. So it'd be calming for us it. too, probably. It sounds it like it would. would be, it would help yeah. us tremendously, and and that's what we we like it for. Is during the holidays, everybody gets stressed. It's a really nice way to just kind of calm everybody down and. It's kind of like being in a room with somebody that can level the emotions of the room. Uh, If anybody's Twilight fans, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're not, (laughs) go read the book. Uh, (laughs) You you always bring me back to the vampires, don't you? (laughs) Well, it's the werewolves I'm after. But, okay, so how does this, uh, where where do they get this? They can get this at earthheartinc.com, earthheartinc.com. 
They have several products here that help everything from, they have one that's called Guardwell that we love. They have a Travel Calm that's a little bit different formulation that works great when you got them in the car. And you literally just a spray bottle and you just spray it wherever you're at and it just calms everybody down. It's wonderful. Well, since 65% of the people out there are going to buy their dogs and cats a holiday gift, I guess we helped them out today. And I hope they'll be really careful with candles over the holidays. Anytime you light candles, make sure you're with them or blow them out. Don't let the pets be in the same room as the candles. Even Mellow Calm pets, you know, if they see, like I said with that example, if someone rolls a ball under the tree, the best oldest golden retriever is going to get that ball. So watch your flames. Make sure you're not part of the fire problem. Last week, there was an amazing thing that happened here, Stacy, on Vancouver Island. Such cool news. This, well, first it started as a disaster. This family went to bed. The man of the house cleaned out the fire. He thought the embers were cool. He put them in a bag and he put them out the front door. He took his cat and he always does this every night. And threw it outside like he always does, put it outside, sort of like Fred Flintstone, shut the door and went to bed. Well, a few hours later, meow, 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 until they could hardly stand it. He got up to tell the cat off and he went into the hallway and the whole hallway was full of smoke. And, you know, he woke up all the family and got the kids. It was a full on family, got them all out and everybody's safe. And he goes to the front door where the smoke is billowing in and there's this cat bravely standing there, cat named Stinky Cat, a Bengal cat bravely standing there trying to wake the family like he could have run off you know like everyone thinks cats would standing there meow, meow, meow. the whole house is on fire the front door is all melted and wow. burnt and a big wall and anyway the firemen come and everything's okay and the end of the story is stinky cat now gets to sleep in the house so yay. <laughs> that's good yay stinky cat yeah you know I'm sure they got the name from the song from friends do you remember that song <laughs> I love that song that's love Lisa that Kudrow's song. For me, that's like her finest moment. I just love that song, Stinky Cat from Friends. Well, it's been great having you again, Stacey. I hope you have a really safe and happy holiday with all your pets. And you as well, and all of our listeners also. Yeah, and Mark, too, at Pet Life Radio. He's the guy who makes this all sound so good. So to him, too, uh, happy holidays, and to his pets, too. And that's it. Be good to your animals, everybody. We'll be talking to you in the new year. Be good to your animals. Thanks for joining us at this Christmas party. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.